Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are already a subscriber, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for clicking on this video. I hope you all enjoy it. And so a little while ago, I did a video that talks about the craft supplies that I would not miss if I had not bought them. So I will pop that up above. If you guys have not seen that video, go check that video out first and then come back and watch this video. Today, I am going to be showing you guys the products that I would miss <laughs> if somebody had stolen them or um, the products that I would miss, I guess, if I had not bought them. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Um, yeah, these are, I want to start off with, these are all my own opinions. This video is not sponsored by any company or any product or anything. Um, I am going to give y'all my honest opinions on my favorite supplies, my favorite, I guess, scrapbooking craft supplies, because I, some of these things could be used for other things other than just scrapbooking. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in with the Misty. Now, if you're a card maker, obviously you don't need this giant Misty. The, this is the um, Memory Misty, I think is what it's called. Um, and I love this thing. If you stamp on your scrapbooking layouts, um, a lot and especially if you like to do and create backgrounds um, this is is just phenomenal if you are using it to create titles with your stamps it's so easy to line up it's just so nice to have so I would absolutely miss this if I didn't have it now a lot of these products are not products that I use every day some of them are um, so this is not something that I use every single time that I sit down to create a layout. However, when I do need it, it's absolutely something that I feel like I, I like I, I miss. I would miss it for real, for sure. So this is the first thing, the first item, I guess. And it's the biggest item, so I wanted to get that out of the way. Um, the next thing is my ATG gun. Oh, you guys, look how well loved she is. Um, I've had this since I started my YouTube channel. I have been on YouTube for almost six years, y'all. I can't believe it. <laughs> um, how many of y'all have an ATG? Now, um, when I first started scrapbooking before I had a YouTube channel, I had the little, just the little guys. I don't know what they were. I, I just used whatever brand I could get on sale, right? Um, but I would run out of adhesive so fast. So this thing is just so, I don't know, I just love it. Um, the adhesive roll lasts me quite a while because I do scrapbook almost every day when I'm good or when I'm feeling well. Um, and so, yeah, you can absolutely make it your own. I've seen people decorate their whole thing or this whole side. Um, I just put a little um, Brutus Monroe sticker on there they sent to me and I thought it fit perfectly there. Um, so yeah, I love this thing and I would so miss it if I didn't have it. Like I know that it's giant, but I love this so, so, so much. Um, it just makes sense. It just makes sense for me and I would really freaking miss it if I didn't have it. Um, okay, next I'm going to go with my Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. Um, I mean, really, it could be any kind of spray bottle. It doesn't have to be this brand. But this is the one that I have, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'll, sh I'll tell you guys some of the reasons why I love it. First of all, it has a locking button on it. So when I'm going to a crop or going to a retreat, I can put this in my bag and make sure it's locked and it's not going anywhere. The water's not gonna like spray out. Um, it's good, and I've never had an issue with it spilling or anything, and I go on crops and retreats quite often, and I've never had an issue with it, and it just sprays, it just mists, very nice. Um, perfect for um, 
if you don't have a really, really huge craft room, like I don't have one. Um, I don't have like a sink in my room. So it's just easy to spray and clean things off, clean my glass surface off. Um, it's easy to just wet your um, brushes after you're using like paint brushes and stuff. If you don't have a thing of water with you, it's easy to spray. It's really great for mixed media. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely so miss this thing. I honestly use it on my stamp chamois as well. So to get it wet and going, I just spray it and I'm good. So this is for sure something I would so, so miss. And I think that I have more items that I would miss than I wouldn't miss. And I know a lot of people um, offered to buy my things, but um, yeah, <laughs> I have done D-Stash sales on my Facebook. So if you're interested in that, Go friend me on Facebook, and when I am ready to sell some things, I'll let y'all know. Um, but I have donated before to senior citizen centers and to schools, um, and I might do a giveaway here on my YouTube channel with some of the things that are, like, unused. Um, so, we'll see. Next is totally mixed media, which I don't do often, but I would so miss my art basics, my Finnabar art basics, silicone brush. Um, I, th I believe that my friend Tiffany actually gave this to me. She sent it to me years ago. It's very stained, but I love this thing. For gesso, um, just to smooth it on the back, you can use it for with paint. I mean, it's just super flexible and I absolutely love it. Um, so yeah, I really honestly prefer this over a spatula, over a, over a hard spatula. I just like it. I just like it better. I think it applies better. And yeah, I like it. So that's the next item. Um, the next item is some fussy cutting scissors. And these are tonic. Um, the little label wore off because I've had these for years. And a lot of these things that you guys are seeing are tools. Um, because, I mean, you know, there are certain things that you use in your craft room a lot, um, and these are definitely one of the things that I use a lot. Um, before these, I had the, I think, Cutter Bee ones, and they lasted me for years, um, and then I picked these up at a local scrapbooking store, and I've had them probably for three years now, and I love them. So, fussy cutting scissors. Um, next up is my Tim Holtz Tiny Attacher. Y'all, I've had this thing for so long and I love it. Um, it just adds cute little touches of staples um, and they're tiny, like a tiny attacher. Um, and this is absolutely a, a supply that I would so miss if one day it disappeared. Like, I would so miss this because I love it. I love using it now. Um, I don't like using regular staples on my layouts because they're thicker, they add more bulk to your pages. These are just so nice. So if you have a friend that has one and you have not used one, use it, try it out, um, and you'll love it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love mine and yeah, so moving on. <laughs> Mists, okay. So I have quite a few. I don't have, I mean, I've seen some people that have like a really, a lot. Um, I have quite a few, but I have certain colors that I go to all the time. I have a black mist, which is just a black matte mist. Um, and it's called a media mist. And this Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold. Um, and this actually is no longer being made, but there are other mists that are gold. Um, and I have a navy blue Heidi Swap that I go to. Um, and those really are the three that I find myself going to quite often. So if you are one that is starting off on card making or scrapbooking or paper crafting in general, um, and you wanna play around with some mists, I would just get like your basic colors and see how you like it. Um, and yeah, they're they're fun to add some little um, like splatters to your pages. They're fun to use with stencils. And so I definitely would miss for sure my gold mist if it was not here. Okay, 
next is my pick me up tool so many of you guys have seen me use this on my YouTube channel for years again I've had this for so long um, I believe it's silhouette so I believe that it's made for cut files um, however I use it for sequins so I use this side to pick up my sequins and then I use this side to push it down in the glue and I just absolutely love this little thing again sequins are not something that I use on every single layout but <clears throat> when you're like fumbling around with these tiny little sequins with your you know your fingers your bigger fingers and it's hard to sometimes get them sometimes they um, have static and they stick to you it's just it's so nice to have this little tool um, and it's so inexpensive so I will try my best to link some of these things down below if yeah if I can find them um, so absolutely always check out the description bar down below if I mention any other videos um, they will be linked um, and then the products will be linked if I can find them. Okay. Next <laughs> is enamel dots, y'all. <laughs> I love enamel dots. You guys, I absolutely love them. Um, I love the shape enamel dots, obviously. Um, and I just love the regular ones. You can get them in. Let me see. I have my enamel dots sitting next to me. Um, I know I have some. You can get them in like arrows and stars and all kinds of shapes. Like really, um, you can get them in all kinds of shapes now. Um, so enamel dots are absolutely a finishing touch for me. You can use these in any paper crafting project. These are not just used for scrapbooking. Um, and so enamel dots are absolutely something that I would for sure miss if I did not have them. Um, next up is ephemera, so die cuts. Um, just so happens that these are both Echo Park. I just pulled the top two that were in my packs. Um, and this one actually has two packs put in one. But yeah, I love die cuts. I really enjoy using these to embellish um, and I enjoy using them to layer. And you can also use these on cards because a lot of them have sentiments. So super, super fun and I would absolutely miss them. Um, next up, so in my video of supplies that I would not miss, I had stamps, right? Um, and the stamps that I had were like critter stamps or just stamps that aren't really used, for me at least, for scrapbooking. So I want to talk about stamps that I think work perfect for me and my scrapbooking. Um, floral stamps are absolutely some of my favorite. This stamp set has been used so many times. Um, and I've also, as I said before, I'm not a card maker, but I have, I do make cards every once in a while. It's just not, it's not where my passion is. Um, scrapbooking is my passion. But I have used these to make cards, but I've also used these stamps to create backgrounds for my layouts. And I love floral. Like, I love florals. I love flowers. Give me a flower and I'll be so happy. Like, um, and both of these are both from Catherine Poehler, um, but I love her floral stamp sets. Like, this one is super, like, you can get all kinds of different looks with layers. Um, and you can also layer these as well, but I just love them. They're my favorite. Um, next up is texture stamps. I like to add, especially like the little splatters and these little, um, you, can, this, you can just peek out from behind the photo and it looks like thread. For me, I've done that several times with this stamp set and the splatters are just awesome because then you get those really thick splatters that would be hard to get with mists um, and they look perfect. So stamping them it's beautiful and it just works perfectly and you can do it in any color of ink that you have and I love it. Next up would be um, alphabet stamp sets. Now this is my absolute favorite alpha stamp set that I have and I don't have that many. I think I only have like four. 
but this one I've had for years and I love it. Um, this is the Jen from Felicity Jane and this was made, I think this is Jen Scow's handwriting, her script handwriting. And I, you can tell that it's so well loved, so used. I love it and it's a go-to for me and I just, they, the letters line up beautifully, especially with the Misty um, to create subtitles or titles and I just absolutely love it. So favorite, would definitely miss it. Next up, um, y'all know I love Ink Road stamps. <laughs> so I couldn't go without saying something about them. Um, but this stamp set is absolutely one of my favorite from them. Um, any kind of stamp set that has like images like this, I can create backgrounds with. Again, just like the floral stamp sets, this would be a really cute, um, using the words along with the images to create a background for fall. And it's adorable and it's cute. And yeah, so I love those kinds of stamp sets that have images that aren't like critters or people or like that. Those kind of stamp sets are hard for me to use. Um, so yeah, these are my go-to kind of stamp sets for scrapbooking. Some samples or some examples. So I would absolutely for sure miss those. Um, and then kind of leaning into the stamping, I will say my inks. So I'm going to be honest here. I have a lot of ink pads. I've tried so many different kinds of inks. Um, I've been on a couple stamping design teams. And so the kind of ink that you use really matters to showcase those stamps. And for me, throughout the years, I have found that my go-to inks are the Catherine Polar inks. They are beautiful. She has so many different colors. Um, they stamp beautifully. You can watercolor with them. Like, there's just so many things that you can do with them. Um, and these are two of my favorite colors, and I think they really go well together. This one, surprisingly, was my very first Catherine Polar ink, and I fell in love ever since I stamped with it, and I love them. I love them so much. And then my go-to black ink, hands down, is Versafine. I have so many black inks. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Even compared to the Catherine Polar ink in black, I prefer the Versafine. It's just, it gives you that super crisp image every single time, as long as your ink pad is not dried out. <laughs> um, it, it's beautiful, and I love it, and I would so miss both of these if I did not have them. And I'm so glad that I do have them because they make me heart, my, they make my heart really happy. Um, my little stamp and heart happy. So in the last um, video, I had dies. Well, the dies that I had were like the critter dies, right? I think, I believe. So the dies that I would miss if I had not bought them or if I didn't have them would be dies to create embellishments with. So this bow die I have used so many times to create little bows to put on my layouts and I just absolutely love it. Any kind of little bow die I'm, I'm down for. And then I got this one for Christmas and I've used it twice already, um, but I love it. So you get the stitched frame as well as the piece on the inside and it's stitched as well. So for my Patre Patreon page, I did a video using this, it was a live video, and um, I used washi to create a frame. Like I just put washi tape, these are all different kinds of washi tape on a piece of cardstock and then I ran it through my big shop with this. This is the inside piece, um, if you can see that. And then I used the frame on the layout. So these kinds of dies that I feel like you can use for card making or scrapbooking um, or even home decor really, I think that these are two that I would absolutely miss for sure. All right, next we have thickers. <laughs> so I absolutely love thickers 
and I don't know what I would do without them. Um, I'm going to be honest again here and say foam thickers. <laughs> I really, I have chipboard thickers, but I prefer the foam thickers. I just feel like they stick better. I just like them better. I like them way better than the chipboard ones, um, and I love them. And that's really all I got to say about that. Um, I would absolutely miss thickers if they were not here. Um, next up is my photo trimmer. Um, Y'all, I love this little thing. It's the best. It's a little like guillotine trimmer and before I had this, I, you know, cut my photos or trimmed my photos on my big paper trimmer. And I really prefer this because I feel like I get a way crisp, way more crisp cut on a photo paper. Um, and so I really prefer this photo trimmer or paper cutter, whatever you want to call it, um, over any kind of um, 12 by 12 paper cutter for my photos. Just because I feel like I just get a crisper image or crisper cut. A more crisp cut <laughs> trying to speak right here um, and then the last thing would be white cardstock <laughs> hello um, I love white cardstock you can use it for so many things you can use it for backgrounds you can use it for um, your cut files um, and also you know I would add paper or um, pattern paper as well to this because I mean you can't scrapbook without patterned paper right so pattern paper y'all like hello I would be lost without pattern paper um, so yeah those are the craft supplies that I would absolutely for sure 100% miss if I had not bought them or if I didn't have them, um, I guess I wouldn't know if I hadn't bought them, but these are my go-tos um, when it comes to paper crafting, scrapbooking, any kind of card making, if I do make a card, um, even some mixed media things thrown in there. Um, I would absolutely for sure miss all of these products. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Um, giving your uh, YouTube videos that you watch thumbs ups always help their channel. It always helps the YouTuber grow their channel. It helps them get seen um, on YouTube because it lets YouTube know that people are liking those videos and they're going to recommend those videos to more people, um, which helps grow their channel. So always give thumbs ups and comments to any videos that you watch. Um, especially if you enjoy them or if you enjoy the YouTuber. Um, it's greatly appreciated. And I would like you to comment down below one product that you would absolutely miss if you did not have it. If you woke up tomorrow and you went in your craft room and you were going to sit down and craft which item would you just be like, oh no, what happened to it? And you would tear your room apart looking for it. Um, let me know down below. I'm very interested to see if we have similar things in common. Um, and I look forward to reading those comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to spread love and be kind. I hope that you all have an amazing day. Bye.